so, um, I guess we're gonna get right to it, huh? Uh, <laughs> uh, I think that we definitely need to talk about the elephant in the room. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, Genshin, sorry, I'm getting all my makeup here. <laughs> Genshin has just announced <laughs> anniversary rewards. First of all, let me just say that for anyone who is not new to gacha games or free to play games like this, specifically gacha games, um, they always do like anniversary things in their game. It's basically a way to thank the player base for being around, for, you know, supporting them, um, stuff like that. Uh, it's definitely not a new thing, and it's just something that, like, all of these types of games do for anyone. Uh, well, actually, I think, like, doesn't, like, Final Fantasy XIV, I think MMOs do it too. Well, actually, maybe not. I'm trying to think. I don't think they do, now that I think, well, maybe. Actually, maybe. I, I can't remember. Hi, rats. So, basically, if you're new to gacha games or if you're new to, to games like this, we're talking about the anniversary stuff, rat. Final Fantasy XIV does some kind of thing, right? Don't they do something in the game where they celebrate the, um, is that the rising event? Or no? Well, anyway, um, yeah, going back to <laughs> Genshin Impact, um, and games like Genshin Impact, they they do like anniversary things, uh, basically just to thank their player base, um, to show their players that they're very uh, grateful for support. Um, so, <laughs> uh, obviously this is Genshin's first year. Uh, the game has, you know, hasn't been out very long and they are um anyway going back to our discussion uh so anniversary rewards um if anyone is involved in the genshin community uh, especially like on twitter um you would have seen that things are a little getting a little hairy um people are really really upset um and rightfully so uh I know that if you're new, once, I, once again, if you're new to these types of games, it might seem a little odd that people are upset about anniversary things, but basically it, it's one of those things where this is the norm for these types of games. Like we, for gacha games and like free play type of games, you know, this is, this is the norm. Anniversary, getting like rewards, rewarding your fan base is something that you should do for playing these types of games. Um, and it's not an entitlement thing, it's just kind of like the norm. And for a company like MiHoYo, who has done anniversary things before, they're not a, they're not a new company, y'all. They have several games under their belt. Like, it's just that Genshin is their newest one. Um, and so they know what they're doing. They have incredible rewards in Honkai. Tears of Themis just celebrated their one uh, one year, and there's really, really, really great rewards in Tears of Themis for their for their one year anniversary. It's like there is there's literally no excuse for them to not be basically trying harder for um, their player base. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna switch over scenes and we're gonna go over like what they're gonna be doing so everyone can see. Um, there's, there's a couple of things that are definitely questionable for sure. Um, hold on. Yeah, Tears of Themis is, so Tears of Themis didn't have a global launch. It actually launched in China first. So China just celebrated their one year anniversary. Um, no, 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 y'all. So, Tears of Themis just came out for, uh, I think the rest of the world, but it wasn't out, like, it's been out for China. So, so that's why we're able to know what's coming, essentially, because they got the game earlier than us. So, uh, yeah. So, anyway, um, yeah, oh, rat, that's totally fine, but... Tears of Themis had a really, really great one year anniversary. Like, their anniversary was so good. So, I just, I don't know. 
Um, anyway, so like moving forward, the Tears of Theme is seen so good. <laughs> All right, so moving moving forward, y'all. Let's talk about let's talk about this, okay? So, um, first thing they announced is uh, an unforgettable journey web event. It's a web event. Uh, it starts September twenty eighth. Um, event rewards is primo gems, more mystic enhancement ore, and hero's wit. Excuse, me. whoa, excuse me. I'm like I ate such a a big breakfast that if I'm burping a lot, that's why. <laughs> okay. During the event, travelers can watch their own anniversary theater and relive their experiences of their journey. After watching, travelers will not only obtain a award for viewing, but blah, 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 blah. Um, so this is this is actually fine. I think this is fine. Although I think I've seen some people say that they don't like the web events. Um, but yeah, this is fine. That's more of just a personal preference thing. I think this is okay. Uh, a message in time web event. Um, this is where it starts to get kind of hairy. <laughs> Uh, event rewards, blessing of the Welkin moon, times one, chance to win, 10%, Mora, 100,000, <laughs> chance to win, 90%. During the event, travelers can take part in a raffle by creating their own anniversary cards. After the event ends, we will randomly select 10% of the participants to receive the blessing of the Welkin moon. The remaining participants who are not selected will reward in Mora, 100,000. Um, this is, this is, this is a problem here, um, because this is, <laughs> basically for anniversaries, like, we shouldn't have to do contests for, first of all, for anniversaries, um, it, it shouldn't be, like, a contest. Um, second of all, these rewards are not great, um, I think for the anniversary cards, it's literally like art, right? So artists are having to create something and then their only reward for a 10% chance is, or 10% chance is Blessing of the Wilkin Moon, which is five bucks. I just wanna tell all of the artists and the community, y'all are worth so much more than this. Sorry, my cat is going ham for some reason. I don't know what he's doing. What are you doing? Are, are you good? Okay, bye. He just left again. Anyway, um, y'all are worth so much more than a blessing of the Welkin Moon. Listen, and this isn't even me. This is not me not being appreciative of Genshin. Y'all already know if you've been here for a while, I absolutely adore this game. This game has like changed my life in so many ways. I know that probably sounds dramatic to some people, but it literally has. And it has done so much for me in times when I really needed it. But... I'm still going to be like Bravo, comrade. Thanks to your help, I am one step closer <laughs> to my goal of conquering the world. I'm still I'm still okay with giving criticism to to something that I love. Also, y'all, thank you so much for the host. I appreciate Bravo, you so much. Comrade. Thank you. Thanks to your help, I am one step closer to my goal of conquering thank the world. Thank you. Thank you so much for the host. <laughs> um so yeah, this is, I think this right here is really where it starts to get really hairy. It's like, they, five dollars, y'all are worth five dollars, your work is, is worth more than five dollars, um, and then it's worth more than a hundred thousand more, which is absolutely nothing. Um, and it's only a 10% chance to win, so it's not even your guaranteed five dollars. So, <clears throat> excuse me, um, Worth the chance at five dollars. Yes, worth the chance at five dollars. Exactly. I mean, even if you were to win this, your art is still worth more than five dollars if you were to win. It's like this is not worth it. <laughs> um, I would just open up commissions and and you know, don't don't rely on this. This is not apps this is not worth it for your time. Um, next up is the anniversary uh congratulatory art repost prize giveaway. Um, event rewards. So you get an, you could get an iPhone, um, share daily to participate in the raffle to cash prizes, platforms, Twitter, and Facebook. Um, yeah, so here's another raffle. <laughs> uh, and also artists again. Artists are having to work for the chance of an iPhone. <laughs> oh my god. Like, this is, like, I'm not even an artist, y'all, but this is, this is awful. Like, don't do this. Don't work for free. Never work for free. I can't even begin to tell y'all how important it is for you to, to make sure you are getting what you are worth. And you are worth more than this. This is not, this is, this is not it. 
This is not it. Absolutely not. Um, alright. <laughs> Next up, Genshin Impact Anniversary Event. Uh, recording your anniversary memories. Uh, event rewards. Primo gems. <laughs> you get a hundred Primo gems, which isn't even a pull. It's not even one pull. A hundred Primo gems. And it's only a thousand winners. That's so bad. That's so bad, y'all. What? So, I just, just please be aware that this is, none of this is worth it so far. None of this is worth it. The web event, okay, sure. Um, but these things are absolutely not worth it. This isn't even a full poll, and it's only for a thousand winners. Um, and then next, we have another event. Let's solve word puzzles. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Another hundred Primo Gems. Okay, so if you win both of these... Um, then you can do one pull. Wow. <laughs> um, with, with the rates that we have in Genshin too, like, this is absolutely... <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. A singular, yeah, that's, that's if you win both of these. That's if, you, that's if you put your time into both of these, you get one singular pull. <laughs> Yikes! <sighs> Thank you for going over this. I hadn't read into the details that much yet and was considering putting time into the art contest. Oh my gosh, Rainy. I am more than happy. I know there are some credible artists in, in our community and I literally do not want y'all being taken advantage of. I love this. Listen, I love this game so much. Don't don't get it twisted, okay? But I love it. It doesn't mean that, this, that MiHoYo is you know, that they're perfect. Like, I will never be out here. No, they're not. This is not, this is not it. Absolutely. I think the worst part about it is just taking advantage of art artists. Not even just, like, the rewards. I mean, for everyone, it's just don't take advantage of artists. Like, don't do that. Being a part of the content creator program, like, as an artist, is better in a way. But even then, I'm still frustrated with that as well because I feel like... I don't know, artists need to be getting paid for their work. Like, period. Period. So. Um. <sighs> Next up is a cosplay submission contest. Another contest. Event rewards. Primo gems. Apple AirPods. Oh, how many Primo gems? Is it 100 again? <laughs> Um, oh, you get a Razor Death Adder. Okay, Fateful Gift Series merchandise set. A random character. Wait, what? What is this? I don't know what this is. Um, but yeah, I love how it... <laughs> what does random character mean? A singular primo gem. You get one primo gem. <laughs> I was just... I was literally just going to go over how much it... How much work, how much money it is to cosplay a character. It is so expensive. It is so expensive to to have a good like cosplay, put your time into it, order what you need, get something made. Like it's just so expensive. <sighs> oh. Let me make a cosplay. I'm about I'm about to like dive into my <laughs> And like how do they so how do they judge the cosplay too? Is it gonna be based off of like the best one or like is it gonna be random? I mean that's my question. Like these are so bad. Oh good lord. Okay. Um Alright, and these are the Scott, thank you so much for 20 months. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Where do you want your five votes to go to? These are so bad. Like, I'm just... <sighs> okay. Uh, anniversary events in progress. The promise of a worldly encounter photo submission. I think these are already... This is going on already, right? Yeah. Um, Noelle! Ooh! Noelle coming back. She's making a comeback, y'all. All right. Um, that's going to put her at 20. So four... Oh! 420 blaze it! 
The f of nub funny number two. Yes. <laughs> yes, Calliope. Oh my gosh, Deluke is Deluke is out here. All right, so um, steady as stone. <laughs> Pigeon, I cannot. <laughs> okay, so we have, um, yeah, photo submission contest. I guess this is, what, like, I didn't even see what this is. Like, what's happening here? What does this do? Oh my god, hello? Okay. Um, use the in-game camera. Okay, so you take a picture in-game. The, that's what that's what you have to do but like that one's okay I guess it doesn't take too much effort but I know that there are some people who spend a lot of time trying to take really nice photos in game so but wow wow you get us primo gems how much paimon food theme blind box full set is that the that is the um okay I like that <laughs> that's just me personally <laughs> That's not bad, like, especially if you're not, like, putting a ton of time into taking pictures in the game. Like, that's okay. Um, trick, <laughs> trick or treat party themed merchandise set. Random character. I don't understand what this random character means. Um, and a one month subscription of Discord Nitro. Okay. Um, promise of a worldly encounter. Oh, here we go again with the art. Um, here we go again with the art. <laughs> Um, how was the interview with the voice? It was good. I have it up on YouTube if you want to go watch it. It's a random character in that merchandise set. Oh. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Um, so this is another fan art thing. Artists, you're worth more than this. This is not, this is not great. Uh, trick or treat party themed merchandise set. It's a random character, so you get one. Um, and then Primo Gems, how much, how many Primo Gems? <laughs> uh, Apple iPad, 10 inch, and then Apple AirPods, okay. Um, the Promise of a Worldly Encounter video submission contest. Um, Air AirPods, Death Adder, Trick or Treat, blah, 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 blah. So, uh, yeah, so, um, I don't know if this is it. Uh, time flies, years gone by, and Genshin Impact is about to turn one year old. Today, the Teyvat Hiking Association's Broader Rewards preview of one of the year anniversary community events. So, this is interesting to me because the way that it sounds, are we getting more? We better be getting more because, I don't know, maybe to me, and maybe I'm being too optimistic, but it does sound like there might be more to come. So, but either way... These, all, like, most of these are not good. Absolutely not worth it. <laughs> totally unacceptable. Be making you do all that effort for in-game currency worth less than $10. Yes, we were talking about how this it was is. was ordained by fate. Nayuki! Long had I it. <laughs> Nayuki, thank you so much for the gift sub. That is more towards, um, towards kuching. Let's go. Okay, nice try, Noel. But Kuching is still in the lead. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nayuki. I appreciate you. Um, not in game. Us trying to be optimistic. Yeah, like maybe it's not over. <sighs> it's a it's a standy. Okay, a key ch a keychain, a pin, and a sticker. Not worth getting furious off the bat, but this is not a good... I know, I think what I'm I'm the most upset right now about is just the way that, like, so far all of these are very, very contesty and also uh, involving artists who have to work really hard and also cosplay. Like, all of these take time, they take effort, they take money, um, and it's, it's not okay. So, like, my hope is that we actually get something in game um because so far yeah none of this stuff is in game unless i this is hilarious to me right here y'all <laughs> this is so funny not this being the first comment on hoyo lab <laughs> oh my gosh um so yeah like i i do feel like 
the way that it's worded, I am very, very hopeful that we get something in game and this is not it. That this is just, okay, we have, we're going to announce our very underwhelming, very awful things that these two people thought would be a good idea. <laughs> we're gonna get them all out of the way first. Like, hopefully that's the case and we actually get something that is worth it. I mean, I'm still keeping my fingers crossed that we get lots more, that everyone gets lots more Primo gems. Everyone, um, that the entire community gets rewarded basically for, for being here for a year. So, to, for a large portion of players to even, yeah, that's why I'm like, this can't be it. This has to be them like pushing out like the very, I don't know, not exciting announcements first and then waiting until whenever, maybe like next week or something. Um, because when is their actual anniversary actually? It is, is it next week? I think their actual anniversary is next week. The 28th, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have, we literally have a little bit before they, <laughs> I mean, maybe. Yeah, the 28th is Tuesday, so even if they had nothing else planned, they can still pretend. Surprise! <laughs> wow, look! <laughs> like, they see all of the reception to all of us who are upset about this, and they're like, we gotta do something quick. Put out, like, a standard banner with, like, an upgrade of all the standard characters. Quick, go, 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 do it. Just, they're, they're like, breaking, like, the glass on the emergency, you know... Don't be mad at us, Genshin community <laughs> emergency thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, like 28 more incoming. <laughs> Surprise, 60, everyone gets 60 Primo chips. <laughs> Not this. They're just kind of embarrassing at the point. It, you know, it's, it's very, very disappointing. Um, I think, like I said, I do think that the worst of it right now is how they're treating artists. Like, that is absolutely the worst thing that I have seen. Um, it's it's really frustrating to for people who put in work like this to be taken advantage of for, like, free... It's, it's like getting paid in um, exposure, right? They're like, okay, yeah, we'll give you, you know, we'll give you... How many Primo gems was it? Like, a hundred? Oh wait, you don't even get Primo gems for this one. <laughs> you get, you get a hundred thousand Mora. Oh my god. But it's okay. Five, five dollars. Five, five dollars worth of the blessing of the, the Welkin Moon. Um, a chance for that. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is, I think these are some of, like this one and this one. Actually, no, all of them are really bad. All of them are really, really bad. So, um, my advice, if you're an artist, uh, don't, don't do it. Your time, your effort, your talent is worth more than this. And don't get paid in exposure. Um, oh my gosh, my cats are losing it. Can you chill? Uh, open up commissions. Um, get paid. Like, you can still enjoy making art for Genshin, but your time is worth more than this. <laughs> so, you have to gotcha for a chance at- <laughs> Yeah! Oh, yeah, so you have to gotcha for, for exposure, too. So... Uh, yeah, it's too- We'll see. You could get more exposure on Twitter and Instagram. Yeah, absolutely. Another fan of the game would compensate me more than the actual game? Yes. <laughs> Listen. As someone who has an, has an artist for a wife, I would not let her do this. Yeah, I don't, I would not let, if anyone in our community is thinking about doing this, I just, I, I want y'all to make sure that you are being rewarded for what you do. There's so many talented people in our community and people have to work so hard. And I know that you love this game and it's just, this is not worth it. And, I don't want I don't want companies like AAA companies like this to think it's this it's the standard or it's like normal for people to be okay with getting paid in exposure because it's absolutely not. So a commission for a character? Yeah. Absolutely. 
How do we feel about the Annie rewards? Complete shit, right? I mean, we're we're uh, definitely discussing it. It's it's truly it's truly something special. Like I literally like the thing that bothers me. So there's there's a couple of things that I also besides this is that one thing I want to mention is even if you're really really upset about this, I think that it's completely okay to be upset and to post constructive criticism on social media, but please be aware that whoever is running the Twitter for Genshin Impact has nothing to do with this. Like, they literally are just, like, they're just bringing the news. They have nothing to do with this. So, at the very, like, just keep in mind that the person who is delivering the information can't do anything about this. Um, you can, you know, express your concern, but please don't take it out on them. Um, don't act, don't, don't be acting wild towards social media managers because they literally don't have anything to do with this. They're just delivering the information from another department. So, um, but like I said, it is absolutely valid and okay to voice your concerns and post constructive criticism. I think the only way that, you know, MiHoYo is going to know that people are, are upset is if there are people who are saying, hey, this isn't okay, please don't do this to artists, don't do this. Like, we, we all put so much time and love into this game. Some of us have paid a lot of money for this game. <laughs> At the very least, you could, uh, you know, have better rewards for the anniversary or something and treat your artists better. So, um, but yeah, don't be mean to the social media manager. Don't be mean to the community managers. They literally don't have any control over this. They're just delivering the message. So, because I see a lot of people on the you know, responding to Genshin Impact on Twitter, and it's, like, disgusting. It's not okay. Yeah, like, you can, it's absolutely valid, and I'm always, I, I always think it's okay for people to voice how they feel, um, as long as it's not, like, you're not threatening anyone, you're not, you know, calling anyone names, because, like I said, they don't control this. They literally do not. They can't, it's not, they're not the ones that were like, all right, this is what we're, we're, we're gonna do. They're just the ones who are managing the social media, so. Yeah, another thing too is I don't know if people just skip the surveys. If the surveys are so important, y'all, because I do think that they take the surveys into account. So don't just skip the stuff in the survey if you're somebody who's just trying to hurry it up to get the, the Mora. Um, make sure you fill out those surveys. And if enough people voice their concerns, then I think MiHoYo does do a pretty good job at listening to their community. Um, they've done it several times in the past when people were voicing their concerns about Zhongli um, when he first came out. You know, they made changes. Um, so I just think it's important to, yeah, use your voice, but obviously don't attack people. That's not okay. Um... The issue is how this company has an entire team of people making art, games, media is a form of art, so they know the time and labor required and what people are compensated, and then this, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it should be said about any company for social media, yes. My Yoi Me is still bad there. Wait, really, Epic? I was very vocal in my displeasure with the new characters being basically useless to newer players due to the Ascension mats being impossible to gather, and that's fine. I think that's absolutely valid. You should be. You should absolutely be vocal if there's something that you are upset with. But there's a difference between expressing your concern and, like, you know, literally harassing and, like, calling names and being, you know, vile. Ayona, hey, I am rolling for Kokomi. Yes. Mihoyo wanting to save useless virtual currency while asking for in real life labor is pretty funny. It's, it's literally, it's wild because them giving us more isn't going to cost them shit. Once again, they're a triple-A company, y'all. Don't get it twisted. MiHoYo is a huge company. And they've been doing this for a while. They're not new. They know how to manage gacha games. They have two that are ongoing besides Genshin. And both of them have had anniversaries. Tears of Themis just celebrated their one-year anniversary. The <laughs> anniversary awards for Tears of Themis were amazing. Um, same with Honkai Impact. Honkai Impact has had several um, anniversaries, and they've, they've all been great. Um, Effigy just actually said for their one year, Honkai apparently gave everyone, like, 3,000 gems or something, and, and costumes, and a bunch of other stuff. 
So it's like, y'all know what you're doing. I know Genshin is like a huge game. It's bigger than their other games, but that's, I think that might be the issue. Like I, like I said, I might be jumping the gun here and maybe they do have more to announce for all of us, um, for the entirety of the community since most of this is just towards artists, web events, cosplayers. They haven't said anything about the entirety of the community except for the, except for the top up resets. <laughs> That is literally the only thing that is for everyone. It's like, hey, y'all are resetting the top up, so pay us and you get more you get more for your money. That's the only thing that they've done. As far as I'm I, I think, unless I'm forgetting something. Woo! You can spend more money and get more for it. A total of 3k over a couple weeks, but the oh they did do a free skin are so conspicuous in their search for free promotional material. Yes. Plus all the tears of tears of Themis anniversary cards. Yeah. Like Tears of Themis, like we really be eating good in Tears of Themis. Like it's wild. Like we are eating so good. Like I feel like the amount of money that I've spent in Tears of Themis is so like like I feel like I don't have to spend any extra money in Tears of Themis except for like the $5 monthly. Like, I'm eating so good right now. And, like, maybe that also has to do with the fact that there's only one character that I'm always trying to get cards for. But, like, I'm surprised. <laughs> the revenue from each game is wildly different. Yeah, that's kind of what I was telling Effigy, too. I was like, okay, so maybe they think that it's okay because they're like, well, people are going to pay anyway because Genshin Impact is, like, huge globally. Like, I don't think that they... At least... I'm pretty sure they weren't expecting Genshin to be as big as it is right now. So, you know how big companies get? Well, they're they're going to pay us anyway. You know, they're going to keep playing. It doesn't matter if our anniversary stuff is bad. They're going to keep paying. They're going to keep they're going to keep playing our game. Because of the ages 4 plus rating of Mango, please. <laughs> Hi, Jer! You finally got your Art of Event SSR. I'm so happy for you. It's awesome. <laughs> the 4 plus. You're very excited for Kokomi and the weapon banner. So am I. <laughs> uh, what's the weapon banner going to be? Oh, for Genshin? I hope we get a free SSR for the... Uh, for Tears of Themis? Um, Tears of Themis was... So for their anniversary in China... They got a whole bunch of crap. Like, it was wild from what I saw. Plus, they had, like, a special anniversary banner where the pity was, like, really low. And, um, like, rates and, and Tears of Themis, is, is be they're better, too, than Genshin. Uh, yeah. So, I don't know. Plus, a bunch of other crap that you got for free in Tears of Themis. Like, you got, like, free cards of all of the characters. It's just... It's just is wild. <laughs> so, Tears of Themis is playing the long game. All those four-year-olds enjoying the anniversary will become Giga Whales in like 20 years. I'm sorry, that's really funny. I'm crying. Oh god. Oh god, okay. Tears of Themis was 900k, sorry, but still Genshin is 36. Yeah, but Tears of Themis, Tears of Themis was only out in China. For a year. It's only out in China. Genshin, Genshin, of course, is going to make more money money because it's global. Tears of Themis just... I mean, I'm not... Okay, so I'm not expecting Tears of Themis to make more than Genshin Impact. But, in my opinion, I don't think that should be a thing. Like, I think that's really, really, really scummy for them to be like, well, because this game is huge and more people are going to... are playing and they're not going to stop, that, you know, they're going to... they're going to basically be kind of like predatory in one game because it's so big versus another like I don't know like that's even worse in my opinion um let me uh catch up here um so our mods the weapon banner it has everlasting moon glow which is um the secondary uh uh, stat is HP percent for Kokomi. Um, it is literally a weapon for Kokomi. Like it is the most un 
versatile weapon in the entire game. It is for Kokomi and for Kokomi alone. Another character that could get use out of it, but it's obviously not her best in slot, is Barbara. <gasps> Excuse me. But that's it. I, I wouldn't even recommend rolling on it for, specifically for Barbara. Like, it's literally just for Kokomi. <laughs> um, and then, the second weapon that's up right is Jade Cutter, which is uh, an amazing weapon that everybody wants for any sword user because it's really great for everyone. So, yeah, MiHoYo knew what they were doing when they put Moonglow, um, when they put Moonglow and Jade Cutter together, they knew what they were doing. So. Am I gonna quit the game? No, of course not, but I care about where my time and energy goes. I can earn more primos just doing stuff in the game than I would possibly be rewarded performing the labor required to do this contest. Yeah, like, uh, I'm gonna keep playing Genshin, um, but I'm gonna keep telling artists to not participate in things like this. Artists and cosplayers, don't do not do this, don't interact. Um, I think that it's important for, for us to kind of just like stay away from these types of things, voice our concerns about how bad this is, and hopefully in the future Mihoyo will be like, oh no, why is no one submitting their, their art? Don't they want free promotion from us? Don't they want the 10% chance to get <laughs> promoted? So then hopefully they just change things and they make things better. So I think that's that's the only thing that we can do is to voice our concerns and then just not interact with these type of crappy, you know, events. Well, okay, yeah, the web event, the web event is, that's different. The web events are different, but the art and the cosplay ones don't interact. But for Genshin, they're like, happy anniversary, community. Here are some crumbs. Exactly. Genshin Impact races past 1 billion on mobile in less than six months. Oh my god. So they probably do feel like they can do whatever they want. That is so true. Like, there are other gacha games on the market, but nothing like Genshin. Asked weapon. It literally does. Hi, Zuni. <laughs> our mods? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I didn't. I was talking to our mods, but not our mods. Zuni, Deluke is, is wildin'. He's wildin' out. Hey, Cupcake. A Noel skin. I mean... I, th I think a free skin would be good. It doesn't really matter at this point who it is. Just give us give us something. Don't push yourself in this specific position. Yeah. <laughs> Not even a free five-star character or weapon. I mean... I think... I don't know. I could be wrong, but... I don't think that they're ever gonna do like a free five star besides Aloy. Like Aloy is our free five star. <laughs> um, maybe like several years down the line, but I don't think. Yeah, I think it's way too early for them to, to us for for them to give us free five stars. I think the best thing that they could do is give us a banner with an up rate, like of my dream y'all or even you know what even a good one would be okay i take it back free pick your free standard five star character or an up rate of five star characters like just the characters i don't know something something along those lines did something happen with the events? Oh my gosh, Jer, we're talking about the anniversary awards. They just uh, they just posted them this morning, um, and we're kind of going over them. Um, TLDR, they're really, really bad. They're really, really bad. Um, they're kind of taking advantage of artists. They're taking advantage of cosplayers. Well, actually, not kind of. They are taking advantage of artists and cosplayers and giving them crumbs for their work and then the chance of even winning rewards. So... Good luck with the 50-50, Ayona. <laughs> I better enter this contest. Stop it. I'm excited for Kokomi too. Um, I filled out surveys for eight months and none of my constructive feedback was taken. The only thing this billion dollar company understands at this point is money. Um, what did you put in there, Fedakles? What were your concerns? I'm just curious. 
um, how Genshin absolutely exploded after launch. It's possible they weren't prepared for that, and it's like these are the rewards for the success they were anticipating instead of accommodating their actual success rate. That's true. Hopefully, my my hope though is if that were the case, that they quickly see the response they're getting and reevaluate, and then you know, last minute, oh look, day before we have something <laughs> right here, free five star character banner with five star up rate. <laughs> <laughs> hey Filipino bro, welcome in. I'm <laughs> going for kuching, please. They gave us multiple four stars for free. That's totally fine, Zax, but uh for anniversaries they usually do, like, this is, we talked about this earlier, but anniversaries in gacha games like this, or, like, free-to-play games, are, it's normal for them to reward players with, like, big things because of them celebrating a year um, and players still sticking with them, spending money, etc., etc. So this is not the norm, um, and we're just kind of discussing that they could they could do better, especially the way they're, che they're, tre they're treating the community's artists and cosplayers is not okay. <laughs> These anniversary rewards. Jean, come home, please. Good luck. Guarantee for every 30 wishes. I feel bad for complaining about the anniversary stuff now just because of how the, the community has been. Don't feel bad. Honestly, I would not feel bad if you're somebody who is voicing your concerns. Don't feel bad. Now, if you're being an asshole um, and treating community managers and, and shit like that, calling people names you know if you're being an asshole that's different but you can voice your concerns you can you can give constructive feedback without being a jerk knowing it would be a negative response so they can come in later with a oh pigeon we're putting on our tinfoil hats <laughs> this is all a plot oh oh okay i see what you're saying zax i see what you're saying it's not unreasonable to expect something better for exactly five star. Yeah, a five star weapon would be fine too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so um, everyone, keep your fingers crossed. Uh, another thing that I recommend, I absolutely 100% recommend, is continue voicing your concerns. Um, however, like I said, don't be an asshole. Don't take it out on social media managers. The whoever's running the Genshin Impact Twitter has literally nothing to do about this. Like they literally don't control this. They're just passing the message along. So feel free to voice your concerns on social media, on on their YouTube videos, or here on Hoyo Lab, where, wherever. But do it in a constructive and mature way. And when surveys come out, fill out the surveys. Um, and if enough of us continue to voice our concerns, then let's keep our fingers crossed that they listen to us. Um, I think that they do a okay job at listening to the community because they have done things in the past where they've taken to a, in a, taken into account um, some concerns. So you're grateful for what they give us. I mean, I, I think that I think that it's okay to like I said, this game has changed my life in so many ways and it has been there for me in times where I really, really needed comfort, but I still think this is not okay. Like, I, I think that it's okay to love something and to be grateful for what they've done for you or what, you know, whatever. But this right here, it is 100% not okay. Um, and if we take away everything, like, not even, like, what you're getting, the way that they're treating artists and cosplayers is, is terrible. It's, it's really, really bad. <laughs> this is not okay. Um, maybe not a five star, but maybe a lot of resources. That's what I'm hoping for too, since the anniversary is next week. So we have some time left. Like maybe they'll announce something and be like, oh, hey, look, if we have this, that's a hope. Um, as someone who worked in social media for a company in the past, I can assure you whoever's writing up the tweets, etc., is literally just formatting a script they've, they've been given, yeah. Honestly, would love five million more and some resin. Yeah, like I'm hoping like I know that we're not getting a um, 
We're not getting the 2.2 preview for a bit, but I'm hoping that we get like some other kind of like thing before that to talk about the anniversary. Um, we'll have to see. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, so that's the anniversary awards, y'all. Uh, very upsetting. Especially for our artists and cosplayer friends. And um, once again, keep voicing your concerns. Be mature. Be, be nice about it. Don't treat anyone like shit. They're people. They're literally human beings as well on the other side of a computer screen or a phone or whatever. Um, it's, it's not their fault. <laughs> it's whoever, it's whatever department decided this was a good idea. But it's not the social media managers. Maybe the marketing department. I don't know. But it's not... It's not social media. It's, it's not them. They're not doing anything. <laughs> They're just delivering the message. So. Uh, yeah, Filipino bro. That's what we were saying is that like for, because I know that this might be a lot of people's first gotcha game too. Like that's another big thing is that I think a lot of people who are okay with this don't realize the norm in this genre is that anniversaries are a huge deal in games like this. And for them to just, you know, completely act like they are not, they don't have to do that. They don't have to, like, thank the community for doing what we do. Like, it just, it's it's kind of, like, not okay. Like, it's, because, I mean, Genshin Impact is kind of like a monopoly right now as far as the type of gacha game it is. There aren't really any gacha games on the market that are like this. So, like, that's, that's kind of the issue, too, is that it's literally, like, a monopoly for a, a game. Uh, we're opening up Genshin, y'all, so that's why I went to full screen. So just give me a minute. We'll jump in the game. <laughs> 